Hello and welcome to the Vegan Corner. Today's recipe is for a dip which is well known all over the globe, tzatziki. Tzatziki, however, is actually non-vegan, meaning we had to veganize it. But don't worry, we didn't lose the very refreshing and sharp flavor, so it will be perfect to accompany dishes such as salads, wraps, potatoes, and any other food that goes well with an acidic and savory note. The ingredient list is in the description below the video. To begin with, we are going to borrow a technique used by the Indians to thicken yogurt. Well, actually steel would be a better word, as we don't really plan on giving it back. Our reason for using this technique is that the perfect yogurt to use for tzatziki is Greek yogurt. And as I'm sure you are aware, it's not readily available in a vegan form. But who cares, we can make it. Let's start by placing standard soy yogurt into a bowl and stirring it to properly uniform its thickness. Then, place a sieve over a bowl, line it with a wet muslin cloth and pour in the yogurt. Don't have a muslin cloth? Simply use a clean kitchen towel or a piece of strong kitchen paper. You'll see that the water starts dripping from the yogurt immediately, which not only means that the thickening process has begun, but also that the gravity in your kitchen is still working. How reassuring! Now, cover the sieve with cling film, place the bowl into the fridge and let the yogurt thicken for 4 hours before moving on. Once the time is up, you will see that a considerable amount of liquid has dripped down from the yogurt, which is exactly what we wanted. Move on by finely grating the cucumber using a box grater or any other grater you have. You don't want to completely lose the texture of the cucumber, so be careful not to grate it too finely. Now we need to strain the grated cucumber. To do this, place it into a clean kitchen towel or a muslin cloth and squeeze it as much as you can. You basically want to end up with a completely dry bowl of grated cucumber, as you can see here. Feel free to use the juice extracted as you please, but don't throw it away, as not only is that offensive, but it's actually illegal in 95% of the world's countries. Anyway, roughly chop the cucumber, set it aside and move on to the next ingredient, which is the garlic. Finally chop a small piece of garlic and then press it onto the chopping board with the flat of the knife. This damages the structure of the garlic, hence releasing all of its flavor, and also prevents you from biting into a piece of raw garlic, which, trust me, you don't want to do. Take the strained yogurt and place it into a bowl. It is important to weigh the yogurt after the straining process and not before, otherwise you will end up with an unbalanced and wet final sauce. The second ingredient to go in is the cucumber, so add it into the bowl and stir well to incorporate it. Now add in the garlic, the vinegar, the black pepper, the salt, if you so desire, and stir well to complete the sauce. Remember to taste the sauce and adjust salt if desired. One last tip, tzatziki is best when left in the fridge for anywhere between 2 and 10 hours before consuming it, as this will allow for the flavors to properly blend. And there you have the final tzatziki. Make sure not to eat too much of it, or you will end up loving it and risk developing a tzatziki addiction. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up before moving on and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to help support the vegan corner, check out either the support link in the video description or click the kitchen brigade icon or the link in the card sidebar. 